from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, November the 13th, 2020. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo leaves the U.S. today for Paris, the beginning of a seven-nation tour, which includes Israel. While in Israel next week, Pompeo will reportedly visit a Jewish settlement in the West Bank, which would be a first for an American Secretary of State. Walla and then Axios reported Pompeo will visit a winery in Psagot, which is north of Jerusalem near Ramallah. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced that Israel secured a deal with Pfizer to receive their coronavirus vaccine in January, assuming, of course, the vaccine gets FDA approval. The Prime Minister tweeted, this is a great day for the state of Israel and a great day on the way to our victory over the coronavirus. He said, at these moments, we are signing the agreement to receive 8 million doses of vaccine for 4 million Israeli citizens with each person needing two doses of the potential vaccine. The World Health Organization is being strongly criticized by Jewish organizations for using their World Health Assembly yesterday to rail against Israel. The Global Health Organization, which is part of the United Nations, met to discuss the coronavirus pandemic, where the American Jewish Committee said the agenda was hijacked by a four-hour attack on Israel. Thirty representatives of countries like Syria, North Korea, and Iran accused Israel of violating the health rights of Palestinians in the West Bank, Gaza, East Jerusalem, and Syrians referring there apparently to Druze of Syrian origin in the Golan Heights, and voted on a resolution sponsored by the Palestinians, among others, to debate again on the matter next year and prepare a report. Executive Director of UN Watch, Hillel Neuer, said the claims against Israel are lies and that the opposite is true noting the thousands of Palestinians who receive care at Israeli hospitals on a regular basis, not to mention, he said, the many Syrians wounded in that country's civil war that were treated in Israel. Neuer called the Israel bashing session a cynical politicization of the world's top health agency at the expense of focusing on the COVID-19 pandemic and other vital global health priorities and emergencies. The World Jewish Congress echoed the sentiment, saying the resolution does not once mention that Israel has provided and is providing life-saving treatment to Palestinians and Syrians in its hospitals, including most recently to the late Palestinian chief negotiator Saib Erekat. Over 101 people from 49 countries sent birthday wishes to Holocaust hero Yosef Valashchik on his 101st birthday. A video project organized by the Holocaust Remembrance Group from the Depths, who had posted an online appeal for the greetings, which came from places like Mongolia and Zambia, and included a message from a survivor of the Auschwitz death camp now living in Australia, and from Chilik Bar, former deputy speaker of Israel's Knesset, speaking from Jerusalem. Dear Joseph, my name is Eddie Trepio. I was in Auschwitz. I'm 100 years old. I wish you for, the, for your 101th birthday good health. Enjoy the rest of your life the best you can. I'll do the same. And it's very nice to find a man like you who has done so much well. good. I appreciate and wish you from the bottom of my heart all the best in life. Thank you. Dear Joseph, I want to wish you a very, very happy and healthy birthday. Um, and I'm sending you warm regards from the Holy City of Jerusalem, from Israel, the Holy Land. And I want to thank you in this opportunity for everything you did for Jewish people in the Holocaust. I'm a grandson of a Holocaust survivor myself. And I want to appreciate your actions during the war, during the Holocaust. I wish you a very happy and good birthday, a long and healthy life together with your loved one, your family, and your friends, and send you a big hug from Jerusalem. Mukhilik Bar, former Deputy Speaker of the Knesset, 
and former chairman of the Polish-Israeli Parliamentary Friendship Group. Thank you, Joseph, and happy birthday. Balaszczyk is the oldest living person honored as a righteous among the nations, which is bestowed to non-Jews who saved Jews during the Holocaust. Balaszczyk, also referred to as the Polish Schindler, rescued over 50 Jews during the Holocaust and fought against the Nazis as part of the underground. The video was presented to him along with special birthday greetings from From the Depths in Poland today. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Friday, November the 13th. Live Shabbat services are coming up at 6 o'clock from New York City's Central Synagogue, followed by Kabbalat Shabbat services from the Hampton Synagogue. At 8, Rabbi Delphine Horvalor, who is co-leader of the Liberal Jewish Movement of France, talks about the challenges of being a Jew in France today and suggests what Europe must do to combat nationalism and anti-Semitism. At 9, it's the film Vich. At 10.30, a replay of the Hampton Services, followed by a replay from Central Synagogue. And coming up at 5.30, it's a look at this week's Torah portion, followed by Mark S. Golub's Together on Shabbat in COVID. And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, November the 13th, 2020. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well, and Shabbat Shalom. Shalom.